video, we'll explain the process of co-transport with the example of a sucrose proton symporter. Before symport can occur, the proton concentration gradient must be set up. To set up this gradient, the cell must use the proton pump. Let's do this again, but slow it down this time. In the first step, the proton pump will use ATP and the concentration gradient to start the motion of diffusion. ATP now must release its stored energy to allow protons to get across the membrane. After the proton pump has been energized, it will carry a proton against its concentration gradient. Note that without the proton pump, protons would not naturally move across the membrane. This is because the concentration of protons is higher outside the cell than inside the cell. After the proton has passed through the cell membrane with the help of the proton pump, the proton pump will return to its inactive state. Now let's watch this proton pump in action. Thanks to the proton pump, there are many more protons outside of the cell than inside of the cell. Now that the proton concentration gradient has been set up, we are ready for... Simpor. Let's take it slow. Although the concentration of sucrose is higher inside of the cell than outside of the cell, sucrose will move into the cell. This is because sucrose and protons travel through the symporter together. The power of the proton moving down its concentration gradient moves sucrose towards higher concentration. Note that this process requires no ATP because it is a type of facilitated diffusion. Let's watch that again. <laughs> 